see Texas almost beat Alabama. Do you see that? Yeah, I know. Oh, that was good. That was sick. Yeah, of course, yeah. We beat Utah and lose to Kentucky. Oregon killed against BRU. The Georgia game was ruthless. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the I think that was a bit, a bit of fire under them to step up. Like yeah, I, ca- I, ca- I call, I, yeah, me and my buddy both call that. Georgia game? Yeah. yeah. I mean, what else can you do again in that Georgia game? Even if Oregon played their best, so they were massive. They're yeah. bigger and stronger. Oh, yeah. But they could beat some NFL team or compete against an NFL team. Yeah. They probably wouldn't win, but. Yeah, Georgia, not Georgia was, was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Bridge, I was like, <laughs> I asked my buddy, like, hey, you want to go watch the Georgia, the Georgia Oregon game? He's like, he's like, no, it's going to be a blow. I'm like, I know, but I want to go watch it. <laughs> yeah, it was tough. Yeah, my buddy is like, I'm not making any New Year's plans. I'm, I'm gonna nice. keep those dates open because I'm he's a, he's a he went to UGA, so oh, he's, so, so, he's yeah. so he's like I'm so like, I'm, I'm keeping that open. So it's either the Sugar Bowl or like the Natty. Yeah, nice. That's a playoff game. Oh, the playoff, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So the, the Natty's like the tenth or eleventh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's the Bulldog. There's just full grown men. There's not 18 year old college yeah. kids. It's yes. Like, yeah. Like, guys, tight end they have like, yeah, that, like, I, that, that tight end they have is like 6'7, 270 pounds or something. Oh, yeah. Insane. Built. I like the color of that G Wagon up there on the left, that light blue. Mm-hmm. Nice. You don't like the Subaru in front of us? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I can see that though. And my parents were Ducks. Well, my uncle, my dad's brother was a Beaver. Okay. And when my brother showed interest in being a Beaver fan as a kid, my uncle never let it go. And so, like, every Christmas, Beaver gear, Beaver gear to my brother. Shove it down his yeah. throat. Ducks. Yeah. Ducks had a. They beat the U, USC a couple of times here and there on big yeah. games. Yeah. 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 Ducks have been good the past few years. Their new coach is young. He's like 35, 36, yeah. Yeah. maybe 37. But yeah. it'll be interesting to see what happens with the, uh, yeah, with USC and UCLA. And UCLA. Yeah. See so how it does well it, but, it also, but, all, but also yeah. it's like. Yeah. But also it's like doesn't make sense. Like, as a school, like, it doesn't make sense like trying to having to travel to like the big tw- uh, big ten games. It doesn't. No. Like you're you're like you know you're not people it's one thing when you're traveling you know like you could drive like twelve hours it's nothing when like you you have to fly to all those games like students can't be able to go to any of those games. Think about the TV opportunities the timing wise like like for example Oregon killed BYU in the range yeah. game last week right and now guess what time they're playing against Stanford eight p.m. PST. Yeah. Like, I think it's like a crappy TV time slot. It's like, not that that's but it's yeah, but, but yeah, but it's more like but it, it's like students aren't gonna be able to attend any of the any of the away games that's except true. for like except for the well, USC UCLA game. Wow, yeah, it's true actually. Yeah, you know, like I, you know, I would go to all the away games when I was at UF. Right? We, yeah. I, I went to every all but one away game every year. Nice. Oh, so you travel well with them? Yeah. Certain schools travel well though. Better than oh others. yeah. But also like it's every, a lot faster to get places down yeah, yeah, yeah. south. I mean, yeah, like the furthest yeah. our furthest away game, like the two games we wouldn't go to were Kentucky, and, Kentucky and Vanderbilt. Okay. And but like those are the furthest away, but like yeah, I was I was a like eight hour eight hour drive. Which you guys would usually beat Vanderbilt or right, those schools, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah those Vanderbilt's games, more of a baseball school. Yeah, those games were like those like Kentucky and Vanderbilt like were those games were oh like we're gonna win anyway. No more like it's, yeah. it's not gonna be any fun. Because 
cares? Yeah. One, it's far away. Two, it's not going to be that exciting. So, Wait, did you go into the game? It's like, a, what was it? How many years ago when Florida was like highly ranked? Like, you guys have been, had some good years in the past few years. But yeah. Lucky, season, like the first season. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah college, yeah. he was really good, but then at the next level, he just didn't. Yeah, he was throwing those like <laughs> bloopers. Yeah. Well, see, well, yeah, I just I completely different offense. Yeah. Yeah, but he was good. He could run. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, he, but it, they didn't want to like they didn't want to let him run in the NFL, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they tried to get him to be a drop back pass there. It's like if you don't if you don't make an offense that's around him, yeah, then he's not gonna be able to do anything. Yeah, well. they, they didn't play around his style. It's like he's not a great passer, so you need you need to you need to open up the the pass with, with the run. Dude, but do you remember him panicking on some of those passes? And oh yeah, he would throw it, and some receivers would just catch it. They're like, just throw it up, we'll yeah. get it. Yeah. That's because he had Demarius Thomas out there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, just throw it up, and he's gonna come down, down with it. With it. Yeah. yeah, but then you got guys like Herbert who played solid in college and now are playing incredible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, Herbert always had the talent. Oh, so the Drew Brees. Drew Brees didn't even get drafted out of college. Yeah. Oh, he was. Yeah. And San Diego let him go. Drew, Drew, Drew Brees. Yeah, the Chargers messed up on that one. <laughs> no, but yeah, but Drew, Drew Brees went and played in uh in the CFL. Oh, shit. And then he uh, and then he walked and then he walked on and look at him now. Yeah. Yeah. He started in the CFL. Yeah. I love those stories, man, where like someone gets overlooked and then they just show up and kill it. Brady was what number six? Yeah, Brady wasn't first. Yeah. 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 Herbert wasn't first. He was sixth. Interesting. The first round. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence was first pick, I think, and he's having a really shitty yeah. time so far. But yeah. his team also sucks. It they was, blew out the Colts this past weekend. Yeah. Did they? Yeah, 27 0. So did they fire uh, Urban Myers? Uh, yeah, yeah, they fired him last year. Yeah. 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 After the, whole, the Jaguars? Yeah. <laughs> they let him finish out the season. He, they, they politely encouraged him to retire. about my Cowboys? You got any news from my, my Cowboys at our quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Jack, man. Yeah. Every year, man. What the hell? He's done. He's done, yeah. Yes, yeah, so what are they going to do? Uh, Cooper Rush, man. Also, uh, didn't um, San Francisco's quarterback have like a horrible... Trey Lance yeah. fractured his ankle. Fractured his ankle. We yes. still have Jimmy, though. Yeah. You got we Jimmy. still have Jimmy. Yeah. I thought Trey Lance was a cornerback, not quarterback. No, quarterback. Yeah, quarterback. Oh, it's a quarterback? Yeah, yeah. quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. quarterback. First round draft yeah. pick last year, I think. Uh, yeah. Were they starting him over Jimmy? This yeah. year, yeah. They were oh, they did. They after, yeah. after, after, second, after how Jimmy performed last year? Yep. That surprised Yeah, it was kind of controversial because he Jimmy brings him to a Super Bowl yeah. and then also brings him to an NFC championship. Yeah. And yeah. both within three years. Yeah. No, that he should have started with that momentum he had. Yeah. And then they started Trey Lance and Trey Lance's second week of football breaks his ankles off yeah. of the season and Jimmy's back in. Jimmy's back. I mean Jimmy's that- that, that well, yeah, but that I mean, it looks that ankle might even be current injury. Yeah, it could be. It, yeah, exactly. He'll never come back fully recovered. Oh, it's one of those. It might not even be uh, worth playing him. You know. Yeah, that's I'm, like the, there. There was a receiver for Alabama when so like Alabama was beating Florida, and then like <clears throat> like they're, they're up by two touchdowns and they threw like a long like a deep pass. The receiver went up and had the the worst ankle injury mm. and yeah. it ended his career. That sucks, mm. man. I saw. Yeah. Like, I mean, you see, like he's like you see his ankle, uh, like head, like hit like this. <laughs> that, that happened. Uh, what school was that? The guy was a Heisman candidate. I think one or two years ago, maybe three. Yeah. It was the bowl game, or to go to the bowl game, the game he did not have to play. He absolutely yeah. was going to be drafted quarterback, and he had a career-ending injury, like no. the last game of the year. Oh. Yeah. And this was this was like in the last one to two, maybe three years. I don't remember his name. I don't remember the school. But he was a Heisman candidate quarterback, and he had it in such a bad leg break that he's done. And it was going into the bowl game for the bowl game. I'd have to look it up. But was it a big bowl game? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I know who it was. It was, it was wasn't it Alabama and Tua Tagovailoa came in and no, won the game? No, it wasn't, Al- it wasn't, wasn't Alabama. No. It was Alabama. No. That was actually an important bowl game. That's where two of two has stepped up, man. Yeah. Who was co- who was co- cubing then? Save save what? No, who, no they pulled cool Jalen Hurts out of the game. They pulled Jalen Hurts, right? Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. And now both of them are just straight dealing in the oh, NFL. Yeah. 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 Is Hurts on the Jaguars? Uh, no, he's no. on the 
Patrick, he's a he like played for the Dolph line blue linebacker for the Dolphins. He caused like, a ton of controversies because people were like, how dumb is this guy? He was like, <laughs> he's like, oh, when, when they're when the Dolphins were playing in uh, like London, he was like, he's like, he's like, oh, where's London? Is that like in like? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and being, you know, but he's like trolling people, and people like don't, like thinking he's serious. Yeah. He's actually one of the smartest. Like he's super intelligent. Yeah. And he just trolls people. That's so funny. Like, like he's being sarcastic, and people like. It's like a he, like, big he has, he has, football player. He's like, be like, oh, you don't know where, where London is. <laughs> Do you guys remember Ricky Williams, the running back mm-hmm. from the Dolphins? Oh, yeah. yeah. He went to Patrick Henry, the high school. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But he quit and then came back into the NFL. Right. Yeah. When he needed some money. Yeah. Dolphins running back. Yeah. He wanted, he wanted to smoke weed. Didn't he yeah. play baseball too? Probably. I mean. He was good. He was good. I mean, not pro, but I mean, a lot of athletes could have. He was a little bigger running back, though, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he wanted to smoke weed, so he's like, I'm retiring. So yeah. So I guess I guess smoke more weed. But then he needed the money, he came back. Yeah. <laughs> Spent all his money on pot. Yeah. That party. Do you remember uh, there was that video of Atari Big B on the Chargers? Yeah, University of Jaw, lost a bar. Yeah. Actually, apparently Aaron Rodgers just had a, this last year to win, did a bunch of ayahuasca yeah. in the offseason. I remember that. I heard that. <laughs> had a, learn, a learning experience. There's a nice little thing. Yeah, the, I mean, Phil Rivers on paper was fantastic. The stats, I mean, he had a great yeah. career with the Chargers, but I mean, him and LT. Yeah. That could, uh, LT, LT, yeah. LT was ridiculous. LT, yeah. That was like young Phil Rivers, too. Yeah, yeah. Buffalo, right? Uh, no, nah, he was on the Vikings. Oh, Vikings. Yeah, he was. When he played, he was just like Reggie Bush level. He was a guy who returned punts and kickoffs yeah. and had a weird run, but he would always score, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like Maybe he had a weird stagger. Devin yeah. Hester. Too. Him and Devin Hester. Hey, Devin Hester. Yeah. Well, Hester was even beyond because he was setting records. Yeah, Devin, oh, Devin Hester is the go at punt returns. And yeah. Does he still play? No, yeah. he, he'd be like, he'd be like, he'd be like even on like a field goals, he'd like he'd sit, he'd sit, sit, uh, stand back on like long field goals, yeah, and try to catch and him, try to catch him and return him. He did, I think. Couple. He had a couple, yeah, yeah. He had like two field goal returns for touchdowns. So field goal return, a missed field goal return is, is as if it's like a punt, right? If yeah, catch uh, yeah, yeah. If, 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 it's, if it's short, yeah, bounce, yeah. yeah. If it's just yeah. bounce, yeah. or doesn't hit a crossbar, yeah. Or even actually, if it hits the crossbar and comes back in, it counts. Yeah, you might be able to. I don't remember. Yeah, Pierce Harvin was just, but he he had like he had like horrible migraines, so like he's like, I need to smoke. It's like, well, it can help with my migraines. Mm, for medical reasons, yeah. Yeah. It's different for everyone's body, but it definitely slows you down as an athlete. I'm, I can't see how it enhances you. I, mean, I guess once you're used to it, right? Oh, it allows you to get in the zone a little faster. Or be a little relaxed, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about while, like being stoned while you're playing. But I don't know, Marshawn Lynch always took a shot of Hennessy before the game and fucking <laughs> Lynch cracked the his skulls. Yeah. Oh, that's to turn on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you see that interview of him with Peyton Manning? It's just like, yeah. Marshawn's like, you know, every, game, every time before a game, I take a shot. And Peyton's just like, a shot of what? Like Gatorade and yeah. Teradol? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Hennessy, Teradol? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean of what? You serious? Yeah, too. Peyton's just cracking up because Marshall Lynch is drinking before every single game. <laughs> and, and dominating. Yeah. dominating. Isn't it a law against that or a rule? Like, you can't drink and drive. How can you drink and play? I don't know. Yeah, well, you're not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not driving, right? There's this interview. No, but you're still on the field. Like, you can seriously damage yourself or somebody else because you're less coherent. Well, there's this interview of Aaron Rodgers of, like, uh, he's talking about how, you know, a number of years ago, players would be playing on, like, Oxycontin and Percocet and just playing on painkillers. Yeah, that that actually makes sense because their bodies are just destroyed. Yeah. Well, I see them when they're older. I pick them up from dialysis and hospitals now. Oh, you do? Well, because think about it. Uber, you get everybody. Yeah, and that's true. Yeah. 
some of these athletes, man, they're homeless and they're out in the streets and wow. yeah, they're not doing too good. Well, it's also some, it's something like it's like some like seventy percent of the players go yeah. broke within like ten years. No, after. 90, 90, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, uh, it's like ninety percent. Wow. Yeah. yeah, they don't know how to manage money. That's why you got to yeah. get like a financial coach. Yeah. I mean, look what yeah. Shaq did, dude. owns like what, like fifty to a hundred yeah. different restaurants and stuff like that. And, like he owns five guys' restaurants. He owns like a bunch of franchises. Shaq was in, a, yeah, but Shaq was in like a, you know, the hundreds of millions. Yeah, of he earnings. was in the operation. Yeah. Whereas it's different, yeah. you know, yeah, like true. you're. You know, a, a sub in center who's making yeah, like three hundred k, four hundred k a year. Yeah. You know, or even yeah. two million a year. That goes so fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you're Especially if like, you're like helping out a bunch of family yeah. and like people around you and yeah. stuff. And Especially if you know how to manage money. Yeah. Yep. But everyone's gonna ask. Well, you, can't, yeah. you can't give it. Allen Iverson was one of the oh. people who managed his money super well. Did he? Yep. He uh, his agent or whoever he had around him, his manager or his agent or whatever said to him, um, put your money in a trust. And and he put his money in a, his, into it like $50 million into a trust and he can't touch it until he's 55 years old. Mm. And he's still in his 40s. And so he still has all this money sitting there that he wow. can't touch until he's like 55. But he lost money right now, right? Yeah, he like doesn't, yeah. he's just kind of like, not broke, but just doesn't have a lot yeah, of money yeah. right now because all his money kicked hasn't kicked in yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. There was this other player who finessed, I think it was the New York Mets, yeah. something like that. Part of his contract, he had like $3 million a year until he dies. That's like a part, of, a part of his contract. That like he smart. said, he didn't, he pushed off everything. Uh-huh. Like, so yeah. it was like, you know, they wanted to give him $150 million or whatever. And he's like in his 70s or something like that. And to this day, he still gets $3 million a year. Damn. So yeah, that's like that steady income. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, don't, don't, give me, don't give me $100 million. Like, Give me yeah, give me give me twenty million, you know, give me twenty million and give me three million a some year. Some of the contracts, yeah. especially in, I think baseball has some of the higher contracts. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You got baseball. Soto racking in twenty six million a year. Yeah, which is nuts. Yeah, Bryce Harper got a three hundred million dollar contract. Yeah, the so Padres like are stacking right now. I mean, they they're, they're building a long term roster, man. Yeah, that's they got the, the right yeah. pitchers, good hitters. But that's all they got. They don't have football anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, they realize. I mean. San Diego, you got a great stadium, great fan base. You got to invest, so that's why they. Dude, they have a huge fan base. Well, when I go yeah. to downtown, I don't like it. I leave because it's too much. It's crowded, man. It's too crowded every yeah. time. It's, it's nuts. I mean, yeah. Like how many, how many home games do you have? You have eighty, like eighty-two home games. And you can sit on the bar and watch the game yeah. and and listen to it live. Yeah, and there's there's bars that like overlook the stadium yeah. too. Yeah. Petco Park is rad too. It's a great stadium. Yeah, yeah. It's loud, dude, around there. I think San Diego is one of the best big cities I've noticed. Mm. Like, what other big city is like this? I still can't believe, like... That's a good question. Yeah, with yeah all San Diego is for sure one of the best. It's not New York, it's not LA, it's not Florida. Well, fuck LA and fuck New York. <laughs> yeah, those are tough It's just way too many people. I think it's just and it's a, And the weather, too. It's away from the ocean. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, we all Texas up. is way too hot to even... Yeah, no. Manage. Yeah, San Diego is de- is probably it's not San Francisco. One of the best yeah. cities in the United States. Oh, yeah. Big Definitely, city. I'm talking yeah. big city. Yeah, it's in the. Yeah. It's a, I would say it's top three. Who, what other two? Yeah, I don't know. I can't even think. Of I can't think of any big city better than San Diego. Like San Diego still has people moving in, while rest of California people are moving out. Yeah, that's true. You got the Navy, you got protection. Yeah, <laughs> right. You got all the college kids. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Then you got the border, right? You, you got... Great food scene. Oh my God. Mexican food. Oh, man. Every culture here. Every culture here, yeah. Except for Chinese. Chinese, I find hard to find, hard to find good Chinese good. places. Good Italian. Italian, yo, authentic, yeah. old school, old 30 school years, Italian. yeah. yeah. It's funny, I picked up one of those guys who owns those restaurants, and he told me to go check it out. He's, he says the authentic Italian restaurants that have been there for 20, 30 years are different. Yeah. This is a really similar neighborhood to where we stayed for years, right? I think so. Feels like it. Mm. Well, you're staying in the driveway. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. 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 Like, a, like a little I meant where you guys are staying. Yeah, where we're yeah. staying. Yeah. We got like beds and AC, air yeah. conditioner. And stuff. <laughs> Put them in a trailer. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. that. Yeah, it's just gonna park, park, park in the back.
Just there. move it every night when he's yeah. asleep. <laughs> it, it's a surprise. You're going to wake up in Tijuana. <laughs> oh. Just walk over to Hong Kong Gentleman's Club and get a Bloody Mary. Oh, you guys know about Hong Kong. Everybody knows about Hong Kong. <laughs> I had two Hispanic women in the car telling me, go to, go to Hong Kong, you get college girl cheap. Like, really? College girls from Russia. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. One guy's like, you want to go there with protection and yeah. you want to get a tourist, a guy from here who speaks Spanish to go because yeah, he can't try Yeah. He's like, it's a whole different thing. I was like, I'm good, dude. Uber doesn't pay me enough to go to Hong Kong and come back. <laughs> it's funny, I'm by the border. Sometimes people will be like, hey, can you take me across? I was like, hell no. Yeah. It's... Got no insurance, yeah, no right Uber, there, nothing. Right there? Yeah. Dope. Okay, where is it? Is it right here on this side? Yep. On this street? Okay. Yep. It's going to be like the house. Second one on your right. Second right one? Okay. Thank you. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yep, this is the one. There we go. Yeah, empty driveway, yep. yep. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna back in for you guys because you oh, got a lot of space. Thanks, man. See yeah. Dude, that house across the street, they got like two decks up there. Oh, yeah. That's pretty right. sweet. All right, Dude, all you guys so... now. Thank you. Uh huh. You're welcome. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate uh huh. You're welcome. Appreciate it. You're welcome.